In the meantime, tonight we turn to Florida now and to a deadly helicopter crash into a massive home. Investigators this evening now revealing that three people on board were killed. And ABC's Clayton Sandell with what investigators have found so far. Burned out wreckage that used to be a helicopter was hauled away today. A helicopter that has fallen into the house. After going down Sunday, shortly after the pilot told controllers he needed to turn around. Uh, requesting a return back to the HQ ramp. The Robinson helicopter crashing into a guest house in this quiet Orlando neighborhood. Pieces of rotor blades flung three houses away. Well, it sounded like it wasn't really running right. Then all of a sudden I heard a big explosion. No one on the ground was hurt. But Bruce Tietelbaum and his wife, Marsha Kahn, both pilots who posted Facebook photos showing their love of flying, were killed, along with their friend, Harry Anderson. I guess just doing like a little sightseeing of downtown, and then I assumed that it was going to return to the airport. Despite the crash in Orlando, both government and industry experts say flying in a helicopter has actually gotten safer. Over the last 10 years, both the rate of accidents and the number of fatalities have dropped by more than half. The NTSB says it may be a year before the clues found in this wreckage help determine the reason it fell from the sky. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.